Hello beauties, so today I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face using my Pond's Moisture Cream. Now this skin is really, really breaking my heart. I hate that it's breaking out like this. Next I'm just going to go into the e.l.f. primer and just put that all over my eye and blend it out with my finger. I also did my brows off camera and I added some tape to make this eyeshadow look crispy. I'm going to be going into the L'Oreal Nudes 1 palette. I'm taking their white color and setting that primer. And then now I'm going to the third color. I kind of cut it off a little bit in the camera. And just working it into my crease. And that be my transition color for today. Now I'm going with a 330 blender and brush by Morphe. And taking that brown color and really working it into the crease. Yeah, when I say work, I work, 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 work. Work that into the crease line to give it definition. And now I'm going to take another Morphe brush and a deeper brown and work that into the crease just a little bit more. Adding more definition and more drama to this look. I found that you have to blend for dear life, honey. And you have to add color and add color and add color, baby. Next, I'm going to take those two shades and add that as a brow bone highlight. Next, I'm going to go into the Vegas Nade palette because I needed something a little more deeper. And I needed another lid color because that lid color just wasn't doing it for me for this look. These colors are more everyday-ish. I was looking for something with a little more drama. So, I'm taking that color from the Vegas Nade palette. And I'm also going to go into Go Digger. My foundation off of camera, but I'm coming back concealing using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, the foundation I use with the Kat Von D Lock It foundation. And I'm just gonna apply a little more yellow because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Y'all know how that is. I also added some lashes, they are the Coco Lashes, the Bi Coco Lashes, and I'm going to blend that out with a real technique a miracle complexion sponge and i also did a little wingo wingo liner just to make that look you know be a little more sultry and sexy Now I'm going into the Pro Fusion Pro Contour palette and just setting my under eye with that middle shade. And today I will also be trying a couple of brushes from the Morphe Me box that I received the other day. I'm going to set my face with some mineralized skin finish using the E1 brush. Taking the middle shade from the contour palette using the Morphe M. 437. This is one of the newer brushes from the brush club that I received the other day. And I kind of like it. I want to use it a couple more times to make sure that I really, really, really like it. And next I'm going to take some bronzer and bronze my face up using a Neutrogena bronzer. Alright, now I am going to rosy up those cheeks with Carolina from Milani, taking the E3 brush. And I'm also going to go into this Carlet Bible palette and glow up. Like, the glow up is so real. And then I'm just going to take the pencil brush that I received um, in my brush club membership and just use it to highlight the inner tear duct. And also brush a little bit brown from the L'Oreal palette. I'm also going to use just a random black liner to line my waterline. Next, I'm going to use a lip 
liner from ColourPop. And I'm also going to use a new lipstick. It is by... I'm going to have it in a haul. Just, just know the haul is coming. And you will see these beautiful lipsticks that I got for $1.99. So I love you guys. And until next time, bye beauties.